think the Ireland of the future is going to be amazingly like the Ireland of the past. I think I think we're just very attached to, uh, you know, bo boom and bust capitalism. Yeah. It's what we don't know anything else. It's 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 what we do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just driving in today, uh, seeing all the cranes and the the building work. It, it kind of it's beginning to feel like you know maybe maybe 1999 2000 again and um, and, it, and you know it's the same thing the pressure pressure for houses uh, for young people nowhere to rent which is pushing prices up um, it just it just seems like we're we're going back there again it's interesting because when the crash happened the priority at that time I remember was how can we stimulate the building industry again mm. uh, and so which kind of tells you where they're coming from you know yeah. I mean, it's no great surprise to me you know I kind of had a sense when the Celtic I, I mean I think when the Celtic Tiger happened originally I was I was quite surprised because it didn't feel like the country that I grew up yeah. in um, the 1980, I, I child in the 1980s, the Ireland I grew up in, it was so difficult to borrow money. Mm -hmm. You know, if you borrowed money, it was a life-changing decision, yeah. you know. I bought my first computer in 1992, and it was a Wang computer. You, you don't remember Wang computers, but they were all the rage in, in the 80s. And this computer cost about like 4,000, 5,000 pounds or something, you know. But so I bought it on what, what we used to call the Never Never. So it was, it was kind of a HP yeah. agreement. But my dad had to offer, uh, he had to go guarantor and offer his house as, as a guarantee against this, this computer that I bought. Um, so, so, th so that was the Ireland I remembered. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly within maybe five or six years, I was getting letters from the bank offering me 10,000 euro that I'd never even asked for. You know, yeah. I, I never, never applied for a loan. And these letters started to come in the door. And I remember getting the first one, I rang the bank and said, oh, you, you've, you've sent this to the wrong person. <laughs> I didn't understand about the credit explosion. Mm -hmm.